technology is bringing more and more hope to infertile couples. As India's first international sperm bank just opened in Mumbai, experts say this will boost medical tourism. But there are others objecting, saying this could lead to designer babies. Rui Khan has this report. For many couples, it's all about netting the right sperm. And with India's first international sperm bank setting up base in a distant eastern suburb of Mumbai, a world of possibilities for infertile couples. It would mean more donors in a sector that's still low profile, raising standards for donors, and even the introduction of foreign genes to encourage medical tourism. The bank, a part of a Danish franchise, has already opened for business. We are trying to cater to the international population as such. But what does an international sperm bank mean for Indians? Will Indian couples be able to have designer babies? What will tapping foreign gene pools mean for India? The clinic will be giving us the requirement. So we'll, we'll never know what sort of uh, recipient uh, he's talking about. So it is between the clinic and the recipient what they want. But then, uh, so far as Chrysler is concerned, we don't want to encourage uh, a designer baby type of thing. Ordering sperm will soon be just a click away. And if pending legislation is passed in Parliament, safeguards will be in place. Call the Assistant Reproductive Techniques Bill, or ART, the draft legislation calls for IVF clinics to be closely scrutinized and licensed and quality standards maintained at IVF clinics and sperm banks. The rights and liabilities of surrogate parenthood to be regulated, surrogate agreement guidelines to be laid down, and the rights of fetuses, embryos, patients, donors and doctors to be spelt out. It is something excellent bill which will protect not only the practicing doctor, even the patient's point of view. It's very good. So for Indian couples wanting blue-eyed and blonde babies, well, that's not going to happen. I don't think that women should go for American, yeah, European of different countries. She should take Indian donor, but of her own requirement, where the child born after the donor sperm gets well blended in the family. In a country with almost 15% of its reproductive population suffering from infertility and absolutely no laws governing in vitro fertilization, sperm bank like these that follow international standards are probably the cry of the art. But their biggest challenge to meet this demand would be to find viable donors. In Mumbai, Rohi Khan, NDTV.